Hey Sizzlers, so it's the beginning of Lent season and today we're making a very traditional meal which is tortitas de camarón with a side of nopalitos and salsa roja. This is my favorite Lent recipe and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Let's get started. So today we're really gonna put our stove to use because we're gonna be doing multiple things at once. The first thing we're going to do is obviously cook our nopalitos, which you will add the nopalitos, rinse them, put hot water, and then add a little bit of these cascaras de tomatillo that helps them not be so slimy along with some salt. The nopalitos, really, you just boil them with some salt if you want to add some onion, and this is for the sliminess, like I said, and we're gonna boil them until they're soft, which is about 15 minutes. Next, for our salsa, we're going to add our three tomatoes, and we're gonna make our salsa. Make sure you boil the tomatoes, turn off the stove. Once the water is still hot, you add the chile guajillos. We're gonna clean them and devein them, and then just soak them in here so they could get soft. Do not boil them in here along with the tomatoes. Make sure you turn off the stove first, and then add these. I have my nopalitos. Like I said, I'll add some onion, some on the little cascarita, some salt, and let it boil until they're soft. For my salsa roja, I have my tomatoes. I'm going to put them in the water till they start to boil and get soft. Once they're soft, I turn off the heat and add our chiles guajillos, like I said. While we're boiling our nopales in the background, we're gonna make everything for our tortitas. This process is a little bit long, but it's totally worth it. I did buy this ground shrimp. I know a lot of people are against it, but for the purpose of making it easier, that's why I bought it. A lot of people like to buy the shrimp and then drying it out in their comal, making sure that it's dry and blending it out with some saltines, and it ends up looking kind of like this. But like I said, for the purpose of easier, I am gonna use this. We're gonna need some egg whites, and then we're gonna start blending them. I'll show you guys how that's done. It's a little bit hard, but it's totally worth it. So we're gonna need some egg whites and I already took the egg white out of here. I know a lot of people have some suction cup or something to take out the yolks from the whites. Um, what I do is kind of crack the front and then take this out, make it into a little circle. I do it the old fashioned way. This is the way my mom taught me and I've never had a problem with this, but it's totally up to y'all how y'all want to get the whites and the yolks separated. Right now I just need the whites from four eggs. I'm going to kind of do this slowly make sure that the yolk doesn't fall out like i said i never really had a problem with this you crack the front you kind of take it out if you're gonna do eggs easter eggs this is a great way to make your own eggs and decorate it with your kids or your family or whatever um you kind of just take it out like this Now that that's done, we're going to whisk it. You want to start at a high setting because you want it to get really, really nice and fluffy like this. As you can see, these got super, super fluffy. And now, as I'm turning this on, I will be adding the yolk. I want to add it not just here, but I want to add it one at a time while this is on. So it doesn't just sit there, but it mixes with the fluffiness. Once this is done, I will be adding my shrimp a little bit at a time and mix it in there. Don't whisk it in there, just mix it gently. Now, it depends on the shrimp you get. This one, it smells pretty strong and I don't like them to be super, super strong. So I'll probably just add half a bag. So make sure that you do smell and taste your shrimp before you add it. If you want your tortitas to have a very strong shrimp taste, then you might add the whole bag, but it just depends on your preference. Note that the shrimp is very salty, so I won't be adding any salt. If you guys like really salty things, you might add a little bit of salt. I don't recommend it since this is really salty. Like I said, taste your shrimp before you add it. I added a good amount of oil because I want my tortitas to kind of float around. A lot of people say it's a lot of oil. If it's too much for you, then add less. So I did preheat it. Make sure that you're preheating it before you finish with this because then they get really flat. Right now, they're still nice and fluffy. I'm going to get some and pour it in here. I like my tortitas to be small. I don't like them to be super huge, but if you want them to be bigger, you can always get a bigger spatula and add more. Like I said, I add a good amount of oil because it's easier to maneuver them this way. Like you see, they're floating around and I could easily move them from place to place and add more. These are done fairly quickly, so it's been about three minutes and I'm going to try to flip them. As you can see, they have a nice golden color and that's exactly how I want them. 
I would say to leave them on each side about two to three minutes. It depends on how your stove works. Mine, I left them on each side for three minutes. And as you can see, the color is really golden brown. They're perfect. I'm going to take them out and put them on this plate that has napkins all over it because I want the napkins to soak up the excess oil that they have. And yeah, this is super easy. We're done with our tortitas. You follow those steps till you're done with all of your egg mixture. A lot of people like to add some saltine crackers. They kind of crush them up in their blender and that makes the consistency a lot thicker. I like these because it makes them really nice and fluffy, but you guys can always try the other way too. Different angle because I'm using up all my stove, but like I said, the water is boiling. I'm gonna turn it off and add my chile guajillos. I'm gonna add one chile guajillo per tomato, so that's three. I'm just gonna let them soak in there till they get soft. If you want your salsa to be spicy, you might add some chile de arbol, but I don't want this to be particularly spicy, so it's totally up to you guys. Now that the nopales are ready and so are our tortitas, I'm going to make the salsa so we could guisar the nopales. I already added my three tomatoes and my three chiles guajillos. Like I said, I don't want it to be too spicy, but if you do, you can always add some chile de arbol rojo. I'm going to blend it up with one fourth of an onion and two medium garlic cloves. Sometimes the garlic cloves are like super huge, you only need one. If they're really tiny, I would suggest adding three along with some salt. Now that our salsa is ready too, I'm going to get a little bit of onion and throw it in my pan, medium heat with a tiny bit of oil and add my nopales. Here they are, I just drained them. As you can see, they're not really slimy. That little cascarita works wonders. I'm going to add them into my pan with my onion. We want to kind of guisarlos. You don't want them to be all soggy. Well, I don't like them soggy. That's why I kind of guisarlos a little bit. But if you guys like them like this, you can immediately add your salsa. Now that they've been toasted a tiny bit, I'm going to immediately add my salsa. I'm not going to strain it because I don't really mind it. Um, I feel like this blender does a really good job. But if you guys don't like any little pieces, then you can always strain it or you could just add it like this. I'm going to let my salsa simmer for a little bit just so it gets a little bit thicker and then this will be ready. I just let my sauce simmer for five minutes and it's significantly thicker. This is exactly how I want it. It's up to you guys if you want to leave it more, but this is ready to be served. All right, sisters, so as you can see, our plate is finished. You can top it off with some cheese, some avocado, and a perfect side dish for this is some lentils, which I do have down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Until next time.